hope you're achieving some nice controlled floaty jumps. But let's take a look at the last element of a good jump, which is landing. So we've come all this way. Nine episodes focusing on boosting, but now the essential part, landing. Directing the board downwind is key, but in this example, too much weight is applied to the back foot. This results in a crash. Another common problem is to try and land still on an edge. Whilst you might get away with it on the odd occasion, it's simply not the correct technique. Landing this way nearly always results in sliding out as we are square on to our direction of travel. Embrace the power from redirecting the kite so that your weight becomes further forward on the board on landing. Direct the board downwind. Now that we have a bigger surface to land on, we can build up our planing speed before engaging the rail again. Watch again, as once I've started to redirect the kite, I've allowed my body to drop out of that tucked position. All that remains is to direct the board downwind to ride away. With enough practice, you should be able to record some landings below 2G. So that wraps up this jumping series. I've really enjoyed the journey with you and I hope you can see through your woo stats some progression in your riding. Don't forget to log all your sessions so that you can see your overall progress.